Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So I recently did a live stream where we were discussing whether or not React was a mess. Is it a mess or is it, is it fine? Now, you can go watch that video to see the whole context, but what React is suffering from, you see in so many other technologies where the software developers are always trying to find the silver bullet. They're always trying to find perfection in a particular language framework or library. And they all start trying to come up with new solutions that have a subtle advantage perhaps in some circumstances. What I have found over the years is that when you're working with one technology, let's say you're working in the JavaScript world, and you know, you're gonna have your frustrations with JavaScript because that's just normal, nothing is perfect. So then you start saying, hmm, what's the alternative to JavaScript? So you start looking around. You go, oh, look, Python. I'm just using Python as an example. Ah, oh, Python, look at, let's look at Python. Python's pretty cool. So you go to Python, you go, oh, yeah, yeah, I like how they, you know, this, that Python does this, does this better than JavaScript and does that better than JavaScript. I think I'm going to move to Python. So you move to Python because it looks great, right? And you're looking over there, so, hey, by, that Python world is pretty good. But when you get there, you realize, oh, wait a second. There's a few things that Python does that I prefer, but JavaScript does better. And you dig a little deeper, dig a little deeper, dig a little deeper. You see that more and more and more. Again, I'm not trying to trash Python or JavaScript. They're both good. It's just a question of realizing that things are not perfect in programming and development. Things are always greener on the other side of the fence until you get there. So you keep that in mind. Don't go, uh, don't have technology envy. Only every once in a while uh, does a new technology, a new language come out that is so much better that it's worth jumping into. So for example, today, what you should be exploring as a developer, let's say you're a Python developer, or let's say you're a JavaScript node developer, let's say you're a Java developer, let's say you're a C-sharp developer, let's say you're a PHP developer, let's say, you're, let's say you are a Ruby developer. Instead of looking at other stacks and other languages, what you should be looking at is the AI implementations that are out there, AI co-completions, like Copilot and so on. You should be looking at all the AI APIs that are out there that you can uh, implement for whatever client projects you may have. The new tech to learn today is not the new language necessarily, it's actually learning the AI landscape. That's my advice to you. All right, I'm Uncle Steph, I hope you found this useful. Um, never mind my stuttering, it's early in the morning and uh, it's bound to happen. Anyhow, that's about it. I have a mentoring program. Check me out, UncleStep.com. If you want to learn Python, check it out. If you want to learn JavaScript, check it out. If you want to learn PHP, check it out. If you want to learn the most important stuff, though, check out Lizard Wizard, the course. Links below. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.